Hey guys, and welcome back to Deadly Premonition. Um, I realized the last two videos had an audio issue. And I'm not exactly sure why. I did notice that I was having uh, interference. A sound interference when I was playing the game the last time. But it shouldn't have... I would have thought it wouldn't affect, you know, how uh, it play or how it sounded. Uh, but apparently it did, I guess. So, yeah. Did I go into storage? Locker rooms? Storage? Yeah, I went into storage. I have a feeling he's in there. So, I want to go down first. But yeah, I don't have the sound interference anymore. So, maybe the audio will be fine. It, it just doesn't make sense, though. <coughs> Looks like I can move this. It's up to you, Zach. Okay, why? <coughs> <coughs> until it breaks oh okay I was kidding but um hmm okay oh I got nothing oh I, I got nothing from that that was useless why did I do that what if they wanted that there <laughs> I just gotta complaint from my brother saying that the game is too bright. There's nothing I can do about that because there's no brightness setting. And I didn't think it was too bright, but maybe it just ruins the atmosphere for him. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that just sounds weird. Is this even going to do anything? I just don't understand this. Because I didn't get anything from it last time. But who knows? Maybe I'll get something. I don't like that sound. I'm not saying it, it spooks me, but it's just kind of weird because it doesn't seem like there's anyone down here. Oh my goodness, look at that. 10 millimeter auto bullets, okay. Uh, for a submachine gun, okay. Well, we got bullets. Okay, that's why. And uh, more squirrel keys. The striped squirrel. Anything else? No. I could shoot. Oh gosh. Does it actually like register? No. Go ahead and reload. I'm just going to run around with my gun. Because apparently I can do that and it's all fine. <laughs> nope. You put it away. Whatever. Alright, guess we're coming in here. For no reason. Except to observe and explore. Hi. Uh, okay. A desk for the warden? Is it even in use? Doesn't seem like it. Wow, okay. Ooh, can I come in here? Hopefully we'll be bringing in the culprit soon, though that'll mean the end of our little vacation here. Open. There's an item and I want it. 
It's not an okay. It's not an item. It's a place I can sleep. Where's my sleep meter at? I am fully rested and I am full. Okay, why? I guess it doesn't hurt, but isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> Just, oh, hey. There's someone in here. Okay. <gasps> well, I'm gonna open in this one now. There's a metal. There's a pillow on the floor too. Oh, oh, okay, why is it? Okay, there's more squirrel keys. Curvy-tailed flying squirrel key. Oh. Hmm. That's very interesting. I wonder if that'll come into play later. That is very interesting. Freaking door. Why would there be a door? Alright, whatever. <laughs> Alright. Now, I think we've collected all of the squirrel keys. So, I guess we'll go into the materials room. Oh, those... Okay, there goes right there. Materials room, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to talk to him just yet. He stands so weird. Automatically sliding storage, quite modern for a small town archives room. Whoa. Whoa! Uh, whatever. Uh, okay. Looks somewhat nervous, though I sense an inner strength in him. He's serious and an excellent cook. Hi. Though whether that makes him an able deputy is another story. How does he know he can cook? Did we have food from him? I don't remember. Agent York, did you find the key? I don't know what key, but I'll just give him all to you. You found the key? I think so. Is this it? Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Uh, it's the first time I talked to you. And I wasn't listening. <laughs> We need a flying squirrel? Let's do this one. You found the key. That's the right one. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, right. I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. 
her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Hmm. That's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here? Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes sir! We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. What kind of biscuit has a hole in the middle? <laughs> Not too shabby. Pickles. Worms. <coughs> Icky worms. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Can you That's provide a car a for idea. me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Fair enough. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. Well, I think we have plenty of time. What time is it now? Lunch time. 9 to 13. It is 10. What the? Okay, what am I wearing? Um, it's 10.48. Uh, my hunger is full. Uh, let's see here. All the way down here. Okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Quite a serious character, though. He likes to show off and is too eager to compete. Uh, okay, I've already read that. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go. They are going to regret Agent letting me Morgan, drive. Get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, I'll try not to what are you, that. his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. Yeah.
Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure, sounds good. Okay, um... Hold on. Nope. Well, I got out of the car. <laughs> Dang it! Hold on, I'll get this. Hold on. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. No! We don't have time to mess around. No! Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Ah! Agent Neal, the hospital closes at 2100. Please make it inside before then. No, I wanted them with me. I I'm tempted to start over. I'm gonna start over. I'm starting over. Okay, we're back. And I got on the first try. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. I guess I should have backed up this way. Ah! I'll get this. Agent Morgan. I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely, flying all over the country alone? I must say, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women, you might be surprised to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours. Right? Uh, George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by a problematic woman. Well, she got you good. Hmm. Terribly good. It'll fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not that light of a wound. I'll so, figure out Emma, how to get there eventually. Tell me. Is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all kinds of problems. Fights, runaways, stray pets. You're too fixated on violent crimes. <sighs> Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. Now that's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Zach, there he is. The monarch in all his glory. Kind of makes me glad that I wasn't born here. Did you say something, Agent Morgan? No, nothing, George. I was just reflecting on a little history. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. Okay, which um, right now is driving. How do I get out of here? Okay. Where's a gas station? I need gas. What if I like use up all the gas just trying to get there? Oh gosh. Uh, I can pick flowers. It's a. Uh, I can't. I can't move. Are you kidding me? What's wrong? Am I just stuck here now? I don't understand. The controller works, but I can't do anything. 
get on January Way and get on Adams Street. So, yeah, we're back here again. I was looking at the map, and I got to a spot on the map, and it didn't like me doing that. And it freaking froze on me. So I was a little ticked off about that. This one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I really would love to know where the gas station is. Okay, now I'm on January way. That's the place I was looking for. As far as I know, I just keep going down this way, right? I think. I think. Hopefully. Okay, are we going in the right way? Wait, where are we? Down here. Wrong way. Okay, I need to go on Adams Street. So we need to go back. Oh. Well. We got a medal, at least. I really want to know where the gas station is. Where are we going? I'm kind of confused. Does it just turn us around? I'm, I, I just don't know. Maybe it does. Okay. Ah! Okay. Then we turn. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. He's right, Agent nope. York. You still don't know your way around. Concentrate on driving us to the hospital. Yeah, I'm trying. Give me a minute. No, stop. I'm not hungry. I see a metal. Hold on a minute, guys. I got this. Okay, where's this card? Can I pick it up while in here? Probably not. I'll just come back later. <laughs> Oi. The rock hit us. Totally wasn't me. Okay. Oh, this is Adam Street. What did I turn on? Okay. Uh, I'm bad at directions. Ah! Uh, oh. This driving is normal, I swear. What's that mean by lunchtime? Does it mean it's lunchtime at the hospital? I, I really don't know. Ah! Here, right? Do you guys have gas? Can I fill up? Woo! Made it! That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning? No, no. It's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. To imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. That's why this case is our problem. 
there really isn't any need for you to get too involved. Hello, Sheriff. Freckly Fiona. Oh, gosh. Hi there, Fiona. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. How did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. Besides, that scar in your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that peaceful town is shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local girl. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone in town. But everyone feels the seditious, heinous evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all... Don't worry. Books are written to entertain, and it's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is a terrible crime committed in a real world. Much different from that of a novel. So there's no need to apologize. Thank you, Agent York. We'll end it there. And yeah, we'll start the hospital in the next video. So I will see you guys there. Bye.